Notebook LM is an absolutely incredible platform for AI research. In fact, it can act as your very own personalized AI research assistant powered by Google Gemini. In today's video, I'm going to show you five little known hacks that will blow your mind on Notebook LM. Let's go. So one of the first things I've been using Notebook LM for is actually using it as my own personal investment assistant, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but you may have various different interests or stocks or shares in various different companies, maybe even a crypto portfolio. So I'm using Notebook LM right now to keep me up to date on the various latest NVIDIA news, things like the annual uh, shareholders meeting, um, quarterly filings, etc. Basically, all the information that NVIDIA are coming out with that you may not have time to follow up on, okay? So what I want is I want all the information in a clear, concise fashion, and that's what this uh, Notebook LM investment assistant does for me. So we can see here, I uploaded a couple of documents, which was the annual stockholders meeting and some a couple of quarterly filings for NVIDIA. And I basically, you know, I, I want the key bits of information from um from these events or from these filings to you know give me enough information to you know invest more take my investment out just give me a, a general overview uh, picture so why did it i've uploaded these documents here to notebook lm and it's already given me a summary based on these four sources okay uh, nvidia financial reports q4 fiscal 2024 right now we can go ahead and um, we can create a timeline or even a briefing from this doc which is really really helpful and it's just going to generate that now in front of me and we'll also have a timeline as well this is really interesting but from the summary i want to go ahead and i want to get the key points the key takeaways things like the highlights the lows um things that are the good things and the bad things the things you want to know about right so i'm going to say um summarize the s summarize and give me the key takeaways please include Sorry, my recording screen is blocking me there. Please include the uh, the highs and lows. Okay, very basic prompt. We can um, obviously improve that. But I just want to give you a quick kind of preview as to what Notebook LM can actually do. And it really, really is awesome at reading sources, reading documents, uh, reading links, etc. And we'll talk about that a little bit further on. So we've got this here now. So as we can see, we've got key takeaways, including things like really important information that you will want to know record revenue, uh, earnings per share, etc. It's also giving me the highs, things like the exceptional revenue growth, profitability, etc. But also the low points, things like uh, the revenue decline in automotive, um, large increases in operating income, operating income costs, okay, and other key important points. So again, I can just simply just read this now. And I've got pretty much a, a summary of all the highs and the lows, everything I need to know without going and reading through pages and pages of uh, filings to the SEC or reading your know, quarterly earnings reports or you know going through documents etc you know finding out information I've got absolutely everything I want here really really awesome okay and as you can see here we've got our briefing and our timeline so here's a detailed timeline of uh, basically everything that's happened uh, prior to fiscal year 2023, including the various different uh, quarterly reports. Um, and we've also got our uh, briefing document again. So we could, we could have used this as well. Um, and we can actually go ahead and you know prompt based on this as well. Key quotes from the CEO, looking forward statements and a conclusion. So it really is an amazing tool for research guys, but that's one specific use case I'm using it for, is to use as my investment assistant or my investment buddy. And we can even use this for things like crypto or following different uh, stocks and shares. It's completely up to you. So that's definitely the first hack I wanna let you know about, about Notebook LM. So the second hack I wanna let you know about is actually a very new feature to Notebook LM. It was only released recently and you're able to now customize the audio overview. So what this is, so for those of you who don't know, Notebook LM is really, really good at turning this information into podcasts and it's really, really human-like and you know, it's two-way podcasts, a man talking to a woman, etc. Really, really nice. But before now, you weren't actually able to customize the output of the audio. You were able to customize the output of the text, but not the audio. Basically telling the, um, telling Notebook LM what you want the, the format of the podcast to sound like, you know, um, etc. But you're now able to do that here with this button. So we want to customize this deep dive. So I basically took a blog post from Neil Patel talking about uh, high quality content for winning SEO strategies. And I want to go ahead and customize this. So it's given us some, um, I guess, 
stock prompts on what the AI hosts should focus on. For example, focus on a specific source, focus on a specific topic, target a specific audience. But I'm really interested. I, I want to generate this podcast in a very friendly and conversational style. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my prompt into here. And I'm simply going to say, generate audio that is simple, easy to follow, and in a conversational style. Avoid too many technical phrases or jargon and write to a ninth grade level. Now, I could go back to something like ChatGPT and ask it to generate a prompt for this, which would actually probably be a lot better. But I'm going to go ahead and give that now to Notebook LM. And as you can see, it's generating the conversation here. So I really want this to be like a, you know, a natural flowing, conversational, uh, casual style podcast, you know, just two people chilling out, talking with a microphone in front of them, uh, nothing too like heavy or technical. So I'm just going to wait for this to generate and then we'll go back to it. Okay, so we've got a podcast generated. I just want to see, give you a bit of a sound bite just to show that the prompt has indeed affected the output of the podcast. So hopefully my system audio is recording and it's not going to come through the microphone, but let's see. Gee. And it's all about how to make content that people actually want to read. Right, like stuff that actually grabs you. Exactly. Okay, so you hear that snippet of the man talking to the woman, stuff that actually grabs you, okay? So conversational style, I really like that. So again, going to have a lot of fun playing around with the uh, the customization options on the audio output. So that was hack two. You're now able to customize and edit the output of the podcasts on Notebook LM. Another really awesome time saver and also a lot of other benefits to hack for Notebook LM is Notebook LM is actually able to analyze and summarize YouTube videos. This is really, really awesome, right? Because say there might be several different videos you wanted to analyze or there might be one one hour or two hour long video tutorial or explain them that you really just don't have the time to go through and you want to get the key points, then Notebook LM can do that. And in fact, you can add up to 50 different sources for it to do. So I've gone ahead and pasted it the URL for a YouTube video by, again, by Neil Patel on SEO for tiny sites with no backlink. So talking about uh, brand new sites, sites, um, local SEO, etc. okay? And it's already given us a summary or a snippet of the video itself. So we can go ahead and start asking these questions. So I'm gonna ask Notebook LM, um, how can we generate backlinks as a local business and it's basically going to query the YouTube video for this and there we go so according to the video transcript here are some ways to generate backlinks for a small website which can be applicable to a local business and it's even given us the timestamps or the relevant parts of the video that we can go where they actually talk about this in depth this is really really good okay um, because you just not only got an amazing summary, you can actually go to the various points in the video where they explain this, okay? I've not seen anything uh, like this before um, to summarize YouTube videos. This is really, really awesome, okay? And um, something I'm gonna be using a lot. But the fact that I can do this now, it means all the videos that I've been watching every single week that I've been struggling to keep up to date with because it's taking me so much time, I forget, I don't take my notes properly, etc. I can just whack them all into a uh, local notebook LM once a week and get all the key points straight away. And if I want to watch that relevant section on the video, I can straight away and I know exactly where it is as well without fumbling around or without trying to skip through, okay? Really, really awesome. So that's number three, hack you probably didn't know about for notebook LM. Okay, hack number four for Notebook LM is you can actually turn any document, any link, any URL into a coach or consultant. So what I've done is I've uploaded a PDF, Guidelines for Successful Weight Loss, and I want to turn this guideline, probably should have uploaded a few more here to get a bit more information, but for this video, we'll just use one guide. And I want to turn this into my own personal fitness coach or my weight loss coach, etc. okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paste in a prompt here that I, um, I use with ChatGPT. So I said to ChatGPT, give me two prompts to use with Notebook LM that will turn my PDF, helpful guidelines for successful weight loss into a fitness coach or trainer. First prompt for the audio overview, and second prompt for the text output. So it's actually given me the two prompts here, right? One for the text output, and also one for the podcast or the audio overview, if you wish to do it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the text output first. I'm gonna go back to the book LM, and I'm simply going to follow up and query, okay? So watch what happens next. 
Okay, so we can see we've got the text output here, okay? So here's my own personal weight loss training manual, okay? Manuals designed to provide me with clear and concise plan for losing some weight. I definitely need to. Uh, that's one of my goals for 2025. Understanding the fundamentals, workout plan, etc., and also step by step, give me everything that I need, including nutrition, okay? We can also then follow this up by creating uh, the audio overview with the second prompt we had with ChatGPT, okay? And you can do this with pretty much anything. In fact, you can pretty much create these kind of coaches or consultants for any topic where there's information out there, okay? So that's hack number four, turn notebook LM your AI powered research assistant into a coach or specialist consultant. Okay, my last hack, the fifth hack for this video on Notebook LM is we're gonna basically use Notebook LM to create content outlines. If you wanna do blog posts or we wanna do SEO, but I wanna create the content outline first in Notebook LM that we can then use for whichever writer we're using, the AI writer or send it to our content writer themselves ChatGPT, Claude, etc. But I really like Notebook LM for doing outlines. Not so much the full blog posts. I don't think Gemini is that good for doing that. Claude is better. ChatGPT is better. But for the outlines and research, Notebook LM is right up there with perplexity. Maybe even better for doing research purposes like this. So the keyword I want to target is SEO basics, how to rank one on Google. At least that's going to be my title anyway. And I've just fed Notebook LM three... Um, three articles from the top of the SERPs, top of the search engines, one's from Moz, one's from Hrefs, I think another one's from Backlink.io. And I, this is gonna be the basis for our article, okay? Or our article outline. So I've got uh, outline mega prompt. By the way, you can get this mega prompt if you sign up to the next Gen AI newsletter, which is in the link below. I send out one issue a week. It's a fun newsletter, guys. Hopefully you get some uh, fun out of it as well, as some interesting information. But here's my outline prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this into Notebook LM. Now I wanna make sure I wanna change this. Um, SEO basics, uh, how to rank first on Google, okay? So this is just gonna generate me an outline. So blog post outline, oops. There we go, get it up, SEO basics. Ensuring best SEO practices are followed. So these are the guidelines we're gonna use. Okay, keep in mind this is also the target keyword. So include variations of it in the H1, H2, and H3 throughout the article. Define the purpose of the article. Structure the blog with clear intentions. Break the body into logical sections. H3s include an FAQ at the end based on common questions, all right? So we want the outline, then we want to be able to generate our blog post later on in another tool from this outline. And this is the way AI SEO is done, guys, okay? We don't just simply um, generate blog posts like that, although there are AI writers which do so, but we want to do this this way. So we're going to go ahead and ask Notebook LM to create a content outline based from my prompt and on the information that we fed it in terms of our research. So let's go ahead and see what Notebook LM comes up with. Should be pretty cool. Awesome, so here we go. So we have the structured blog post outline for uh, the article, so purpose of the article, etc. And then we have the title and when we have the, uh, the intro, body, and then we have all the H2s and H3s. Okay, so this is essentially the topics that we're gonna be talking about inside our article. Okay, explain what SEO is, highlight the benefits, all right, key terms. And this is, should be, I mean, from, this, uh, from the looks as well, emphasizing LSIs and entities and uh, NLP keywords. We can probably put that into the prompt too to make it even more optimized, but we'll do that in the actual blog post prompt probably. Um, but again, this is a really, really nice outline technical SEO off-page SEO, conclusion, and frequently asked questions. So everything here is, you've got a list here of all the different topics you want to be able to cover to create an SEO optimized blog post based on our target keyword, right? I really like this for doing outlines. Again, I don't think Gemini is the best for doing the blog posts themselves, but this is a really good uh, way to do this. We can always follow this up with additional prompts and then start putting into ChatGPT or Claude, whatever you're using to write the blog posts and then start optimizing from there. But again, I really like um, Notebook for doing this because you're able to feed uh, multiple sources of information in to generate this outline. I really, really like it. And you're in control of the exact information that you give it so that you know, you know you're not getting anything that's irrelevant or stuff that you don't wanna talk about. So that's really, really nice. So while we're on the topic of AI SEO, um, again, I always do outlines first before we generate our blog posts. That's just the way AI SEO is done these days. To get the best possible content or the output out there, you really want to be generating outlines first, getting the AI to train on the outline, to produce the finished article, 
gives a lot better quality, believe me. Now, I am using uh, quite regularly a AI SEO writer tool called Journalist AI. You may have seen this on this channel before. Um, you can go to my link below. I've got one of the only discounts out there right now for this platform. It's an all-in-one AI SEO suite. It doesn't just write, it also edits and auto blogs and indexes and everything like that as well. It even adds internal and external links. Uh, nice new UI, okay? So they've recently updated the UI. This is really, really good. So I just wanna give you um, a little demo of how I actually produce content via AI for SEO. So we can come up with research ideas in Notebook LM, come up with outlines, etc. but we can use journalist AI itself for producing the content. So if I click on SEO article, I can quite simply give it a keyword, um, how to do local keyword research. I can even give it a title if I want to, or, and I can produce multiple blog posts at a time. Or if you've done your keyword research, maybe in Notebook LM, maybe in Perplexity, let's see, you can go to import and upload an Excel file, okay? So I've got this article I created uh, a while back on ultimate guide on how to bake bread at home because everyone loves bread, right? As we can see here, it's table of contents and it's completely SEO optimized, um, talking about the various different topics that I had in my outline. By the way, this does the outlines too, okay? So no need to worry about that. It's added YouTube videos in, it's got um, images, featured images we can see um, on the bottom right, which will come up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in another image here, let's say, and I'm gonna have the AI, journalist AI, um, generate the image for me. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say a uh, loaf of sliced sourdough with melted butter and have the AI basically come up with the um, image for me, generate AI image. Um, and it's got a full editing suite as well. And you can also connect it to various different blogs and platforms, your Shopify, e-commerce, look at that, lovely jovely. Um, and there we go, all right? So that's really awesome. Say I wanted to make this uh, information here. I wanted to rewrite, make it simple, make it longer, make it into a list, make it into a table. I can add extra keywords in with the editor here. I can also add various different external and internal links, just like that. So if you're into SEO at all or blog and you know how time consuming it is to research factual citations and um, check links, I've just added two right there. Look how long easy that was. Tell me, a few seconds, right? That's absolute money right there. And as we can see, fully formatted, uh, conclusion, frequently asked questions is just, um, it's a dream, guys. It's a blogger's dream. And if you're into SEO at all, you're a blogger, you own niche sites, or you're part of a uh, marketing agency that produces content for clients. Journalist AI is an amazing platform to use, and it's the one I use um, regularly in my business, okay? So if you're doing research with Notebook LM, and you want to create content based on the back of that, Journalist AI is a really good platform to do that with. It's three free articles, guys just by entering your email address, no credit card required. And if you do decide you wanna continue using it and you upgrade in the future, use my link below. I've got one of the only discounts out there right now for this platform. I am an ambassador for it and because I use it a lot myself. And again, it's really, really good guys. So um, hopefully between Notebook LM and Journalist AI, you can create some really awesome content. And uh, yeah, 2025 looking pretty cool, right guys? Awesome, so that was my uh, notebook, five Notebook LM hacks that you probably didn't know. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.